Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Professor Bro Man. We're back here in Destiny. We're gonna talk about some hot shit. Specifically, the hottest shit that's ever gonna hit your inventory for the next, let's say, hmm, three or four days, you know, until you get your necrochasm. Ha <laughs> kidding. I'm at Dex Method class. But we're gonna talk about the necrochasm. Yes, that is the ornament. Doesn't it look nice? I think so. Mmm, it's all sparkly and spacey and shit. So I know what you're thinking, bro, man. How the fuck do I get the necrochasm and is it good? All right. Well, the necrochasm is not hard to get right now. And while we're loading in to show you whether or not it's going to tell you how to get it. One, step one, get the husk of the pit. You're going to get that husk of the pit. How do I do that? It's real easy this week. You can just go into the nightfall, kill the ogres at the beginning of the nightfall. You don't get that shit. Kill your guardian. Reload. Kill him again. Boom. Okay. You good. Step two, you're gonna have to kill some hive. You're either gonna have to kill thrall, knights, or wizards. You know which one you wanna kill by selecting the upgrade node and it's gonna say thrall, hive, whatever. It's gonna say, this weapon feels really good and sexy when you shoot this enemy with it. <laughs> All right, you shoot those enemies. Uh, if you're looking for knights, you know, right here at the beginning of the, right here at the beginning of the, sh the schwimmity schwam right here is usually pretty good. Or you can just go back to the nightfall. It's actually pretty not hard in the nightfall. You got all the knights right there at the beginning. You got some wizards. Uh, I've heard anywhere from 20 to 25 knights is what it takes to kill. I don't know. I got thrall. It took like 100. I just went and did lost to light. And then after that, you have to run the Crota raid. All right. You don't have to do the challenges. You have to finish it. And then you end up with this guy. Necrochasm. Necrochasm AF, man. And uh, the new Necrochasm, listen, it doesn't blow up flying enemies, but anything else, it's going to explode. It's going to explode real good, and it's going to kill everything around it real good. You don't got to hit headshots anymore. It is an absolute force of nature anywhere in the game. It's actually really good in PvP, too, now. Um, I highly recommend it. So there you go, guys. It's how you get yourself the Necrochasm. It's how you make it look nice and pretty. You know, I, I, I unfortunately spent some money because I have a problem, and I don't need you judging me for it, but I like my stuff to look nice. So I got this so my stuff could look nice. This dude's blowing up, that dude's blowing up. It looks great. I love the explosions. And as you can tell, the explosions do not hurt you. Anyway, guys, that's how you get your necrochasm. That's how you make it look real nice. Shiny. I spent money, but you don't have to. You can just wait and be patient and you'll probably get the thing you need to unlock. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, I'm excited about the necrochasm. You should pick it up. Not a long quest. Uh, if you find a raid team, you could probably get it start to finish in about an hour, especially if you got a team that's willing to rush through the raid with you. Thanks for watching, guys. Pick up the Necrochasm. It is phenomenal. It is one of my favorite exotic weapons now. Great job. Shout out to Bungie for doing that, making it fun, great, enjoyable. Again, really feeling exotic. Thank you guys for watching today. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me how much you like my bald head. Tell me how much you don't like seeing my face during these videos. It's up to you. But I'm not going to change. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time, dudes.